Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. We're going to be starting off by doing the scavenging site that uh, we didn't have time for at the end of the last episode. And then we're going to be jumping in and saving Fort Rock, uh, which is what we're calling it now. Uh, that's entirely how it's pronounced. Manned by pterodactyls. Uh, because it's a scavenging site, I actually want to take off a whole bunch of stuff from our team. Uh, so actually, let's, let's go in like this and go into the equipment. We don't need extra grenades. We've got plenty. We're gonna have to re-equip all of this afterwards, just after I put uh, put my kits on people. It's a good job we have a lot of stores. That's That's all I'm saying. Now, we shouldn't need any extras. We should have plenty of ammo for, for what we're doing. But there's always the chance that there's going to be bigger things than we anticipated. So, fingers crossed. We definitely don't need red exclamation marks for three and five hit points damage. Mario's injured enough that we obviously have a little bit of concern. But for the others, you know, just just like an orange one would be sufficient. I'm really quite excited to get the B team in and uh, get them a decent haven defense, especially now that we've got the new members of the team there. But first, scavenging. Having a look at the map, we have nothing over on the left, so we don't care about the left. We have four, five in the center and one over the far side. This thing is in need of dying quickly. So let's start with that, actually. Identifying target. How does that taste? Okay. No mist coming from that. What's our move? Uh, Mario, I'm actually tempted to send you on a run down there. Right there. Let's go. Moving out. He's so stealthy going clank, 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 clank as he moves along. Bless him. Look at our little, little techno troopers. They're doing what they can. Okay. Uh, with almost everything around that central Sprinting. building. Let's, let's actually get in the open over here. Uh, you can come and support down this side. Let's put you in a tiny bit of cover. And JD, what are we going to do with you? I think we'll probably... Leap you in. my way that's okay so up the edge yeah that works three from the roof one from the bottom let's see what there is on the map well there's there's something on the map somewhere that's that's what we're learning from yes. that I wonder why it's not marking those ones. It's probably because this thing's in the way ever so slightly. Yeah, you can you can see the uh, the line intercepting it. 
if we wanted to, we could jump straight across here and then like hop through. Don't think it's worth it to expose ourselves that much though. All set. Sniper across. That's what I wanted to look for. Guys that we can shoot. Quick aim, it's a poacher, so he's got a neural pistol. Do I have anyone with a neural pistol at the moment? I don't think so. It's not a problem. We'll, we'll carry on dealing with him in a moment. I want to move Mario up on this side. Moving. Okay, let's... Let's bring you all the way around the edge. But he's in a great position. So over here... Chink, 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 chink. Bring you up to the cover. And rather than jumping up, I think I want to run in and up. Still nothing over there. So we can carry on being a bit exposed. Okay, so we've got some, some close range issues that we need to address. Probably with a shotgun. Well... It would be rude not to. In fact, you're, you're level 7, you're level 6. Can we get you this thug? We could probably get you the thug. I want to try and make sure that the less experienced people on the team are getting the kills. What's our move? Probably should have got Mario to do his shot first. Ready to engage. But no, this will, this will be fine. Unless, like, Mario completely misses. Ah, uh, you know what? That's that's good enough. We can finish him off from here. Actually, can you grab that iconoclast? Yes, you can. Right. I'm here. We could get you the kill, but I think you'll be fine actually just grabbing the equipment. get you up on top and you'll come back via the others if you've got the movement and resources. But we can have a look in here first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's going to be too much for you to carry. All right. So, shot fun. Matt. That's basically killed him. He is bleeding and he's only got four hit points left. Uh, I want you guys to push down on this side. And actually we can we can get you tucked in. Let's put you just Your there. Yeah. 
Ready. So, starting up on the top. And we will jump you towards the extract. Loud and clear. I need you to get ready to go up on top. Mario, you can make it, so go grab that. You've actually got space left, so let's... Hell, that's not worth using a dash for that, that tiny difference in distance. All set. Uh, yeah, you can come up on top. We're now in full recovery mode. All set. Yeah, I thought we'd be able to access it diagonally. Well, not much. Okay. Well, start coming back. Repositioning. Five by five. All the med kits we could ever want. And uh, that's it for this turn. So Mario, you still had one space left. Should we need it? It looks like we will need it up here. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just move you straight towards the exit. So Mario, dash. No time to lose. And dash. Yeah, you can grab it this turn. I'm ready. Which means we do actually want you to grab it. Up here, you've got one item to get. And then we're bringing you down to the next one. No, oh, cool, we can see that guy. We're gonna need a little bit more in terms of uh, personal support up there. Right, you can just get out. and you can start heading towards the upper floor. Uh, you are just on your way out. So at this point we've got all the resource packs, there's not actually as many as I would have hoped for, but there's, there's a fair few. Oh, he's got gun and a grenade launcher. which means we are definitely going to take him out. He's only got 90 hit points. We can actually just walk right up to him and then blat him. That's a really cool skill. 20 armor for a turn. It's, it's huge. But that's not what we're caring about. We're caring about this. Ready. 
ready for action. Grab what you can. Oh, there's still one bit that we can't quite fit in. Yeah, you're full. Yeah. You're full. I think everyone's actually full. That's not a problem, of course. It's just surprising. With fewer crates than normal, perhaps they, they just had more in them. Yeah, you're completely full as well. That is not what I did. I did dash and then I clicked down here and it just moved one space. Worst dash ever. Basically a stumble. It doesn't matter. It's not like we're under any time constraints, but that is a little frustrating. It's probably counted it as a double click on the, on the thing itself, so it just ended up dashing to whichever one was right next to it. Right there. On the move. So out and out. Got to be quick. You can dash out next turn. Oh, there's definitely something alive. Oh, hello. Well, he's not doing any fireworms, so. Exit. And exit. And exit. Cool. We needed those resources. That's incredibly handy. And it's a tiny bit more experience. Yay! 600 materials, 100 tech, and 100 food. That's probably about the right ratios for, for what we needed. A Mario. It does seem like a really good idea. For the extra extra stealth. Cool. Yeah, vengeance torso. Look at him. I really do want to cross class him with the, an infiltrator. Uh in fact, while I think about it, we do have some materials, so we could consider our snipers. Plus 20% accuracy in a helmet. It's pretty significant and it gives extra perception. I think that's that's going to be a good call. So you're you're stealthy primarily. Mm -hmm. 
if we were to give you more stealth with your feet. So you've got Shadow Step and more stealth and silent weapon attacks. It's not a bad option. Uh, we'll save the tech for the moment because we are quite low. Um, but it's definitely, definitely worth us considering. Uh, you guys are going to move on and explore here. And in the meantime, we're going to step in and uh, help defend a haven. Uh, you guys are basically as ready to go as you're going to be. Uh, actually, we can we can take out the new razors. Uh, you can definitely have one. Yeah. It's not really worth us giving you... I suppose we could give you Boom Blast so you can shoot that further, but I don't think it would really be worth it. Minus one speed plus 10% accuracy. Minus one speed... Let's give you a bit more armor. I mean, that's that's just a flat upgrade. Uh, I will still keep the Praetorian armor because it might prove useful at some point. In fact, yeah, you you should probably have that. And it's it is a mishmash. I do recognise that it's a mishmash of people. But I, I think they'll be okay. They're definitely running with the B-Class gear. Still, the defending force is only two. They were already turning the tide. It should be okay. Right. So we're going to open up straight on this. Uh, I think Quick Aim is the right move in this this particular scenario. Acquiring target. <clears throat> it's a good start, reducing his armour. We'll Quick Aim again. Targeting. I mean, he's got so much but we're really starting to tank the damage in on him standing by this is significantly less accurate but still viable you know what else is viable rockets probably should have opened with the rocket thinking about it to try and just like blanket reduce the armor Actually, it's, it was quite off target, so who knows how effective that would have been. Uh, how much paralysis is that? Uh, we need to get up to 74 paralysis, so that's not really going to happen with the new razors. Right, 
torso is gone. That's good. Moving. Come across a bit more. What's your chance to shoot from there? It's not terrible, actually. We might get it. Is it going to bleed out? 22 hit points, it's not quite going to bleed out. Fine, we will we will pistol it. We will step in and we'll get a pistol at Double like time. point blank range. Ready to fire. Not like that you won't, like that. I'm gonna say nothing. That was that was an abysmal shot. Wow. This is entirely unnecessary. Guys. You're just embarrassing yourself now. But this is what happens when, when you rush. Okay, did we do enough that he's going to bleed out? Yes, he's only got 12 health left. <sighs> what a turn. Right. Ready for action. Let's let's get this heavy. Because I would love oh, yeah. him to be like a proper scout for us. If you'd be so kind as to come this way and have a look at this guy and what he's doing, that would be swell. In fact, you can probably come up here so you're mostly safe. I don't want to get him killed. I just want to use him to identify where the threat is. And from, from here he can't see because he has zero perception. That is really quite impressive, having so little perception you can't even identify where problems are. Dashing ahead. Alright, that's a big enough threat. So it's got a psychic scream. If we wanted to capture it, it's 49 paralysis we'd have to get it up to. That's not impossible. It's definitely not going to be easy though. Forty piercings, good. There are eight civilians alive. If we get the civilians out, then it'll kind of have to come for us. But if we end up like massively out of position, that's just going to suck. All right, come to here. Can we can we go around? Yeah, we can sort of go around. Let's do this. I don't remember us creating that that mist. That could be a bit of a problem, right? Civilian. Ignore the mist and come straight down. Over here, you're going to be bait for that thing to come in. So stand here and look threatening. Get your pistol out. I mean, we could do an armor break on it at this range. Yeah.
All the armor damage. Uh, you don't have a neuraser, so we don't care. You do, so I need you to come and move help. Fast. You don't have one, but you've got a big enough gun. Sprinting to position. Ready to fight. There's more where that can Incendiary grenades. Ballsy. Yow. This will slow me down, but it won't stop me. Alright, so so he's definitely having some issues. Who has that neural pistol? It was Shadow you, open. wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, well. Let's send you to get this civilian. And then in this civilian, we can run round the back towards the exit. This civilian can run towards the exit. I'm not sure how I want to handle this. I think step up. We really don't want it to bleed out. <laughs> That's not much help, but it is a little bit of something. Uh, yeah, actually, come, come this way. So we're going to kind of tempt it down, hopefully. Because the only way up on the roof is from that side. That's just not going to happen. Ready for action. We'll hop up here and prepare. Uh, with your neural pistol, let's get you as far forwards as we can. I'm ready. You've got a neuraser coming. Just a couple of dings in case we do need to kill it. You know, pre precautionary firing. Okay, it's a plan. We're going to try and capture it. I just don't necessarily think it's going to be a good plan. Ugh. Wait, that is the only way you're going to survive. I just need to catch my breath. Okay, the panic's annoying. But we can probably recover from it. Uh, right. Evac you. Evac you. Let's not take any shots until we actually have to. We can get up and we can hit it once with the Neuraser. Channel open. We can do a lot of shooting with this though. <laughs> That's one. Two. And then we've got two quick aims we can do as well. Unfortunate. The 
It's 21. Ready to fire. Twenty-eight. And this is all slowing it down, remember, as well. Thirty-five. Right, you panicked, so you're useless. You didn't. So what do we want to do with you? This will do 10, which will take him to 49, which is probably not enough to stop him taking an action, so I think we'll stay back. Do I want to heal this soldier? Not really. I would like this soldier to, well, yeah, that, that's the thing. I'd like the soldier to keep being a target, is really what I'd like. Let's, let's do you up here. You're going to focus on this guy. Help him bleed out. He's not a threat, but he's definitely worth considering. Moving to coordinates. Ready for action. Ah. Uh. No, no, I can't bring myself to heal him. Let's step in and we'll go for the, the capture. I really should be waiting one more turn for this. Hopefully it's got less than one action point left. That's really what I'm I'm looking for. Looks like there's more mist that's appearing over here. Let's uh Let's actually jump back over yes. this way and we'll go into the civilians. I think probably these two are the last ones in here. So he's running into a corner. He's running a little bit. Surprisingly far, actually. This is not a place to take cover. Really isn't. All set. Okay, that's a shame because I wanted to capture him as well. Let's I'm going. get to here. We'll get the stun on this. And we're not quite going to be close enough over this side. You can't quite make it, but we can grab his gun. This is why I didn't heal him. There's always a chance you get something out of it. We'll put it to good use, don't worry. He is going to survive, it's just whether we're going to be able to do any Ready. form of capture on him. Interestingly, we're, we're panicked but we've still got an action point. I don't believe that at all. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do. You're both under our control. Come out here. the heavy coming over the top. Yeah. Okay, so you'll be doing 10 damage when you do 
hit with a new eraser, so you'll be the best one to actually try and get the capture. Still don't think it's gonna work, but we can we can try. What's our move? Eight out of twenty-two. No, he's going to die before he gets paralyzed. Yeah. Oh well, we captured a siren. Way to go, B team. Little bit of experience for everyone, and all the civilians survived. So. It's all good in the end. Yeah. They, they dislike us a little bit for saving New Jericho, but I don't care. And from that, let's just replenish this. Uh, we've located the nest which uh, is probably going to be our next point of call so we've got a triton so we've got two tritons no yeah we have a triton and we have a siren they take up two space each uh, in our containment because of their various sizes Oh, did we already have a, a siren and we've got the siren vivisection in the list? We've got siren autopsy in the list. We we'll probably need to do the autopsy first. It matters not. Uh, right, uh, unfortunately we are out of time for today. That was, uh, that was pretty successful all in all, I'd say. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told we've got one or come. That'll be from the mine. Right, let me let me send the tier map down there. Research complete. And we've got Pandora and Evolution done. Right, okay. Uh, I was I was getting distracted. We've got that moving so we don't uh, forget about it because obviously that's going to be incredibly important. There's a protein mutane field uh, that we need to pick up. Uh, we might do that next time. In fact, let's uh, let's get the A team going across to that so I don't forget. And uh, the sorry, that's the B team. Let's get the A team going across to that. The B team is, of course, going to go to the nest. Uh, so that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon. <laughs>